Hello and welcome to another Mimosa Features video with me, Dustin Stock. So today we're going to be talking about new major Mimosa software features coming in Q2 of 2020. There are several for software release 253, which is only applicable for the A5C and A5. And then we have a huge release called software version 280, which will be for the A5X the B5, the B5C, the C5C, and the C5X. So the first features we're going to go through are for A5, A5C. Uh, these will also apply to A5X, but remember this version is only for A5 and A5C, so we'll get right into it here. So there's a feature that you guys have been asking for for a very long time. It is called da -da 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 -dun -dun, 75 25 traffic split. Yes, that's right. We, we finally have 75-25 traffic split. You can do either gender A or gender B just like you can with 50-50. Uh, uh, huge, huge speed improvements for folks using 75-25. We've got uh, many beta customers using this already. We've used it here in the office out in the field and it's just astronomical changes for download speed for customers. So we hope that you'll enjoy 75-25 for your your radios and hopefully your customers will enjoy that as well. Um, the next feature is also something else that's been asked for for a long time and that is basically disabling the Ethernet port. We're calling it service suspension. So we'll go to a client radio here. We'll go to the link page and on the link page under rate limit we have disabled data traffic. So what that means is anything behind the C5 will not be able to connect to the internet. You can still reach the radio from behind the ethernet port using the management IP, but no one can get to the internet when this is enabled. So if somebody doesn't pay their bill and you're not set up on a program like Sonar or Azatel or Preseam or, or something that controls data rates for people, log into the client and just flip the switch here and well, they can't get on until they pay your bill. And then the final feature for 253 is the host information table. So you go to clients, host information. So basically the host information table tells you about uh, devices directly connected behind the C5. So if you say have a PoE to a router behind the C5, you're gonna see the MAC address for the router. If you, from the PoE, you have a switch that then connects to multiple routers, then you're gonna see entries for each of those routers behind the C5. Or if you don't use a router and you just let the customer plug in a switch and connect whatever they want, you're gonna have entries for every single one of those on the, the host MAC address table. As long as you're using a DHCP server to assign IP addresses. Most of you guys are doing that right now for, especially for those kinds of setups. Um, but the cool thing about this is, is that you can limit the number of hosts behind a client. So say somebody is plugging in 10 different routers or devices behind your C5 and you don't want them using up all your IP addresses, you can limit that to three or two or eight or whatever you want there to prevent them from connecting more devices than you want them to. Uh, you can also whitelist or blacklist specific host MAC addresses as well. So if they haven't paid their bill, this is another way that you can block the MAC address of the router so they can't connect to the internet. But it doesn't prevent you from accessing their radio or their router. So it's just another method of blocking them from being able to access the internet. So it's a really cool feature here. Hopefully this will help folks that have been looking for a advanced MAC forwarding table. Uh, hopefully this will help you kind of sort and see exactly what's going on. Now for software release 2.8.0. Again, this is for A5X, B5, B5C, C5C, and C5X. There is a, a whole list of features here, but there are three that I want to highlight. So let's go ahead and log into this radio here. Um, and as you can see, the UI is a little different than what you're used to. But for the first feature we want to talk about, uh, it's IPv6. So anything running 2.8.0 or newer firmware will support IPv6. So in this mode, you can do dual IPv4 or IPv6, or you can just select 4 or 6. 
So this definitely helps those folks out that are using IPv6 on their networks or want to start using IPv6 on their networks. The next thing, which is a huge, huge upgrade, is VLANs. So before we had very basic VLAN options for point to multipoint, um, no more. So this is for both point to point and point to multipoint in 280, where you can actually go in and configure VLANs. Um, you can forward all, forward untagged frames, insert VLAN tag and forward or drop. So you have lots of new VLAN options here to actually do what uh, has been asked before. Uh, a lot of the times customers would have to put in extra routers to make things happen. So hopefully they don't have to worry about doing that anymore. And then the last major feature I want to highlight here is QoS. So we had some basic QoS options. Now we have some really enhanced and advanced QoS options here for you to actually you know, do quality of service on your links. So we're really trying to build up the networking side of things. We're trying to make things easier on you and your subscribers. So we've spent lots and lots of time working on these six features for you. This should be out in the next few weeks, so right there at the beginning of Q2 2020. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time on the next uh, Mimosa video.